So let's uh, start that over. Well, I've thought a lot about food and why we should eat the way we should. It seems like that's one of the easiest changes we can make. It's what, not totally easy, but it's one of the uh, best changes we can make to live a more energy efficient and fulfilling lifestyles, change how we eat. The other important thing and uh, a bigger bigger concept, harder to get your head around, is uh, what, what we live in, what kind of buildings we live in. <clears throat> I am going to argue <clears throat> that uh, almost all the buildings we live in aren't very good. And uh, I'll, I'll uh, propose a better type of building. I guess we should probably focus more on the, uh, the positives of uh, new ways of building. So let's just skip right to that and skip the criticism of the oil-fueled industrial world, etc. So here's what I want for the building here. First of all, we should always build at an inclined spot. It should always be on an incline. Uh, we should dig into that incline. This gives us several advantages. One is it gives us two ground floors. If we have one of the other floors, it'll be on the upper side. So two ground floors is a big win. Plus, by digging in, we're getting the sun, heat of the sun, energy of the sun, and the coolness of the earth. By digging in, we automatically get building supplies. If the dirt's any good for building, for earth bag or adobe or whatever, or, or ships or whatever neat design you have that uses natural materials. So this kind of building, um, one, of, one of my problems I, I face here is that people come here and they ask me about this kind of things, like what, what I think about these buildings. Uh, the problem is that what I describe isn't what they're expecting. And that is when people think about going back to nature, they often try and think about their five acres or the homestead or whatever. And actually it's a better idea if we have a, a greater footprint. So I don't believe that we should have lots of small buildings, although they can be okay and hopefully natural, blah, blah, blah. But I think that we should actually have a, a literally smaller footprint on the land itself so that we don't tromp everything down. Now that's true whether it's our feet or bulldozers or cars or buildings as well. And so it doesn't make a lot of sense to, to size buildings uh, so that everyone has low density and is away from each other, like uh, five acre plots or whatever. Um, what I'm imagining, if you look at pattern language, they talk about, a, I think it's four story maximum or something, three. I think it's a good idea to go up and not too high. I kind of agree with them and <clears throat> various other architectural books I've read. Um, in a sense, it would be like an apartment building. Cut aside the slope and then run it on contour. The idea here is you should be able to walk far in the building without having to go up and down stairs. You should be able to get to a lot of stuff. Now there's multiple floors, of course, so that's a little tricky. Each unit, each part that someone actually lives in, should be on the same level. Uh, the people who share the same levels or hunks of the building have their own voting and their own organization of how they handle their building within some constraints. Uh, for example, the entire building has on the view side a shared portal. So it's basically a shared porch. Wide enough, perhaps 12, 16 feet wide, whatever, your materials can support. Um, and that's, you know, where people can watch the sunset, the sunrise. Uh, you could have uh, sidewalk cafes. Uh, and the, the key, though, is that the organization, uh, the zoning of it, the, the building uh, requirements, are that you have to have this shared porch um, on the view side. Now, different parts of the building can be used different ways. The, the key components we're designing for as far as the social interaction with the building is that... Uh, we want to have more people closer, but without some of the annoying things about having other people close to you. Like, for example, noise. You would have to have a noise ordinance. Everybody's got uh, headphones now anyway, so because uh, you just can't have it be noisy if you're going to be that dense. Um, also, the, uh, the building would be designed in such a way that, that uh, between units there could be straw bale, for example, which is uh, very sound insulating, very comforting, comforting material. Uh, I'm afraid the roof is concrete. And I know you could say bad things about concrete. Uh, neat. Uh, it's a great material for what it does. Um, the key is you need a roof strong enough to be able to support your solar hot water heater, your solar panels, uh, your solar battery system and transformer. Um, it needs to be able to collect rain very well. And so you're looking at a, a, a need for a fairly a strong roof. Um, I haven't been able to get around that. 
the one good thing about it for rain collection is that the lip of the roof could be curved like this, almost like you kind of see an Asian temple or something. Uh, but, but it would have a big gutter. Uh, in my case, it would need to be at least 10 inches across, but it's better to overbuild it. It's going to last a long time. It's concrete, and you should be able to capture every single bit of water that falls on the roof. Otherwise, it just becomes a problem somewhere else anyway, and of course, water is uh, fairly useful to us. So, anyway, concrete roof, concrete floors between, uh, and concrete pillars. Uh, it has to be uh, able to withstand uh, earthquake anytime in the next 600 to 1500 years, and so it should be made pretty tough. Uh, as far as sealing the roof, I worry about that, uh, the concrete degrading. In my case, I'd probably want to seal it with resina. That's uh, pine resin. That seems to keep water nice and clean. It's uh, natural. We can get it here, and it seals well. They don't have to worry much about fire hazards in the building because it's concrete. Uh, the infill to the, to the framework. We, we have the concrete floors. We've got the pillars uh, spaced at whatever makes sense based on your materials. The infill can be almost anything you want. Now, you might as well go with pretty good. I mean, here I'd go with earth. Uh, earth is a great material. You could do earth bags. You could do adobe. You could do wattle and daub if you didn't care about the thickness of the wall. Uh, and people can redo those themselves. So it's also cheaper when they want to uh, alter something. The entire front part on the portal is zoned so that you could either have it be your private residence or a business purpose. Generally, the ground floors of things are generally business purpose. Uh, and uh, 